Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and welcome back to another rapid fire critique where I take 10 of your hopefully best photos and give them a critique my critiquers in. And this critique is brought to you by FroPack One. That's right, introducing FroPack One 14 custom Lightroom presets that were made by Steven and I. You can see them from Black and White, Boomify, Waffle House, Acid Watch, Kensington, Sandlot, Color Boomify, Aquamarine, Cookies and Cream, Faded Glory, Ovaltine, Silver Tide, Skittles, Universal Soldier, and Wonder Years. To go play with the sliders to see how they work, go to frontosphoto.com slash presets. Now let's get into the Critiquey McCritiquerson. So let's see what they're shooting with. It is an EOS 760D, which I think is a uh, Rebel T6S. I'm not sure what the S stands for. Uh, oh, look, it says I'm a 17 year old who is just starting to take photos. I have been taking photos for about two years. I might not have the best lens or camera, but I try to make what I can out of it. So don't be afraid to go, go ham on these. I don't know what ham means, but I'll go ham on them if you want. It's not kosher. I may go like brisket on you, but let's see, ham on these photos or sugarcoat. Oh, sugarcoat ant words. I don't know what ant words are because my goal is trying to improve at the end of the day. Thank you with a D at the end. I don't know what that means, but Jason Gao, G-A-O, that's Gao, Gao, whatever, 17 years old using this with a 18 to 135. Like I said in past critiques, I don't mind those kit lenses that are pretty large ranges, like the 18 to 135 and Nikon's 18 to 140, good ranges. I like knowing what people are shooting with before I start critiquing and knowing a little bit of the backstory. I'm gonna be less harsh on a 17 year old than I am on a 48 year old who has the best gear in the world and their photos suck because uh, they should be yelled at when their photos suck. In this case, 17 year old kid looking at the gear that he's using, I'm gonna critique it the way that I normally would. I'm still gonna call things out, but let's see what we've got. First things first, do not like this image right here. Um, composition wise, okay. B the fire hydrant bothers me slightly on the bottom, but the processing, it's just, a, it's just a snapshot. There's nothing to this that yells, this is a cool photo of wherever it is. It's just a building that really isn't sharp up here. Uh, and there's people crossing. I would have focused more on the people crossing the street or gotten into the street yourself as long as you don't get hit by a car. So not a great shot there. Now this, on the other hand, is much better. This has a very photojournalist, photojournalistic look to it. Partly the reason is because the photographer got down on a lower angle. In terms of composition, there's a little too much dead space for me on the left. I would have tried to move the subject over just a little bit, but I totally understand why this occurs because the focusing points on that camera do not spread all the way out to the outside. So part of the reason is that you're gonna put the focusing point where it is. I've got an itch on my nose, so I'm gonna scratch it. And then it gives you an image like this. But I like the tones, I like the details, I like the processing, and I like the contrast. This was done at f5.6, 89 millimeters, 1 320th of a second at 200. Very nice job. I like what's going on in this shot. See, it doesn't matter, again, how old you are or what type of gear you have. Get your composition right. Even if you're shooting in full auto, I don't care. Get your composition right first. I can teach you everything else later about your exposure. This person may be in manual. This is a very nice shot. Um, I'd run it through a preset though. No, I wouldn't. It, it, I think they did a great job doing this. You can create your own presets, by the way. If you have a general idea for a shot that you like, uh, uh, an edit that you do all the time, you can create your own preset in Lightroom. Ours give you a great starting point. Ooh, this is very, color, this is very black and white boomified. Okay, so now we're at 92 millimeters. This may be a little too tight for my liking. Uh, I like the shot overall. I like the composition. I think the composition on this one is spot on. I lose the whole scene. So as part of a photo story, as I like to say, you get your wide angles, your mediums, your tights, your details. If this is part of a photo story and I just don't know it yet and there's a wider shot of the horses coming down the road and there's the scene and the whole background, then it works perfectly well. As an image, it's fine. It just doesn't pop to me as like, yes, this is the greatest image since sliced bread. It's a good photo and as a photo story, I think it would be really good 
But just remember, you got your tights, your wides, your mediums, and your details. I know you can't get to all of them all the time because things happen and action is changing and the scene's always changing, but just keep that in the back of your mind when you're out there shooting. But I like the shot nonetheless. This is good. I like the composition here. I love the out of focus chair right here. I don't think that takes away from the image. Some people may say that it takes away from the shot. I don't think it does. I will tell you what I think takes away from this shot. Uh, oh, this is done with the 7200 2.8. What do you mean you don't have the best gear? This is, a, this is a great lens. See, a lot changes when you get a different piece of glass. I know that not everybody can afford the best glass in the world. We know this. But you start with something like the kit lens, the 18 to 135. My first lens, a 100 to 300 5.6 Canon push, pull, or twist turn. I don't even remember what it was. It was a 5.6 fixed. It was terrible. It was horrible. And then I got an 80 to 200 2.8 from Nikon, and it, changed, it does change a lot. So I don't want to downplay the importance of quality glass. I always say it, glass, 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 when you can start growing into it. To, can't always afford it. I get it. But in this case, this 70 to 200 makes a world of a difference with getting a better shot. Now, what I would do with this image is go black and white. This is a black and white image to me. Let me show you one thing real quick, and yes, this is a salesy part real fast. Black and white Boomify I'd run it through, or I'd run it through Kensington, which gives it a more muted look with grain or without grain. That's what I would do with this shot right here. The color processing isn't really that bad. I just think it would pop more photojournalistically and as a street photo if it was done in black and white. Um, but I do like that shot, nice job. Okay, so let's see, in China, Waste collector does not have the privilege of the, uh, or the money to drive fancy trucks with claws to collect rubbish. They have to ride bikes with trunks at the back to drag the rubbish around and have to collect it with their bare hands. Wow. Okay, well, so re was there a description on the one before? Old woman resting one of one, no. But now that I see a description, see, I like seeing the description because now I can correct you on certain things. Is he smoking an e -cig? What kind of cigarette is that? I don't know, never smoked a cigarette. I like this shot. Uh, the color processing, I think you're doing a fantastic job. What, what, what lens was this? This was done with the 18 to 135 again. I like your processing. This could be good in black and white, but I think it does stand well in color. After reading what your description was, I do not get that in this photo. So if I didn't have your description, I would think this is just a guy driving a bike or doing something. Little did I know that it's a trash collector who has to ride the bike and puts all the trash in the back. This is where that medium shot or that wider shot comes into play as a better street photo. I think this stands on its own very well, but if you want to convey the story of what's going on in the image, then shoot wider. I think that would make for a better image in this case, shooting wider, showing the trash collection, showing the trash on the back of this thing, that would be more impressive to go along with the description that you gave me. But I do like that shot. Old man, look at your life, I'm a lot like you. Anyway, this is a 18 to 135 again, 5.6, which I think missed focus. Uh -uh. I don't know, it looks like some extra work has been, it looks like it may have missed focus, but maybe down here, but his face should still be in focus with that, with that mustache and that beard. That is some interesting looking uh, facial hair. So, great composition. Really like what's going on. Um, in terms of processing, again, possibly black and white would, would get rid of the distractions in the background. I'd like to see it, uh, the exposure pumped up a little bit. I think that it, it, too much has been pulled back on the highlights to really make his face stand like this. I would like to see a higher contrast black and white. Again, I will tell you, I would probably start with my Boomify black and white because that would give me a starting point. Then I would tweak and raise the exposure until I got the look that I liked. And let me remind you that with presets, just one press of the button doesn't always do it. Sometimes it does do it, but don't forget, these are starting points. You can always tweak them a little bit, change the exposure, change the highlights, change the clarity to get the best look for you. Then you could always save it as a new preset so you can come back to that in the future. It's always good to have a starting point, but really nice job right there. Great composition, head to toe, nice job. Color is obviously, you know, it's a concert, so there's not much you can do with that. This is done with the 18 to 135 inside, 1 500th of a second at 1600 ISO. Rock and roll, the rock and roll performance on Carnival Cruise Lines was absolutely amazing. So it's on a, it's on a boat. He's on a boat. 
Anyway, it's a good shot. Uh, black and white may be better to cut through the, lo the, the lack of color. You know, it's all a cyan hue. Is that cyan? No, that's magenta. It's, all, it's a whole magenta hue. I would pull back on that, but composition-wise, it's great. Um, you could change your raw edits and just pop down, uh, add some more green in there, so and change your white balance to try and get the white balance a little better, because in the background, it looks fine. So possibly a black and white here could work out better, but nice composition, nice capture. I like this as well, the Great Wall of China, no explanation really needed. Uh, love the way that this looks. Love What f-stop are we at? Only at 3.5, wow. 19 millimeters. Just love the leaning lines and love that it's later in the day. You can tell by the shadow of the wall, uh, the Great Wall of China going there. I would like to go there one day, but it's nice how it flows this way. This one may be good in cookies and cream. This is cookies and cream, by the way. It gives it that cookies and cream look. I know, defining it by that. Ovaltine would give it a little bit of a brown hue. Faded Glory could be good on this one, too. Can you see what it does? It really tightens that up. And then possibly Silver Tide to give it a uh, silvery black and white look. Oh, actually, Wonder Years isn't bad either. You know, that's the thing about the presets is that you run a bunch of different ones to see what look you like. I think you could run them through a bunch of them to get a good look. Anyway, moving on. I like this shot. Nice job. Street photography, slower shutter speed, one. 15th of a second, nice job. I don't like the look on the person's face because you caught them blinking. Well, actually, let me correct myself. It's possible that the person's eye is like that. Um, it looks like a blink. Uh, I need to see a little bit more exposure thrown into this. Again, with the focusing point, I would like to see the subject more over on this side without cutting this chair off, which you didn't do. Uh, I just think a little bit to the other side, a, a little bit more. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, mm, not like that. I would put the chair and this wall slightly at the end of the frame, and it could be this, but then you lose the person. Um, so I think it's a very nice job right here. I think you, got, you did a great job on this photo. If I was to edit this in black and white the way that you did, I would bump my exposure up more to bring in a little bit more light. I know it's done at night, but I think that would add some pizzazz to this shot. But nice job getting the person to move even though it looks like they're just standing there. I don't know, are they, or they just started to walk. And then this is the last shot, this is a snapshot. Um, processing is fine, well, it's, it's, it's on the muted side. Uh, it must be leaning, looks to be leaning because the, the, the roof is straight, unless you got it wrong and the roof wasn't straight, and this is leaning. This is more of a snapshot uh, of a monk temple. I'm not a big fan of this image, but I do have to say, that this is a great shot, this is okay, so this gets a half, this is very good, that gets one, this gets a half, that gets one, that gets one, this gets one, this gets one. So probably seven and a half out of the 10, I didn't, sh uh, 11, I didn't show you this first one because it wasn't very good to begin with and they gave me 11, so I chose not to do that one right there. But really nice job with these images. Again, basic point, basic DSLR, basic kit lens for some of them, for most of them, but fantastic images, nice job with processing, nice job with composition. If you'd like to send in your images to be critiqued, your best 10, send them to bit.ly slash fro critiques. And if you want to check out fro pack one, go to fronosphoto.com slash presets. You can just play with the presets that we have up there. We've got samples, you got sliders, you can play with them. And it is still 30, 40% uh, off for 30 bucks. So go ahead and check it out while the sale is going on. Go to fronosphoto.com slash presets to pick them up right now instantly and start tweaking your files. So that's where I'm going to leave this critique. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.